Heather, we talked about uh, in the previous videos about the importance of networking, building relationship, asking with curiosity mindset before asking for a job. So how can job seekers or international students or new immigrants that they are not used to networking? I know that pre-pandemic it was we're going to meet in an event and we talk, but now it's going to be mixed, you know, some online or via Zoom and some in person. But do you have anything specific that or strategies that they can use, you know, to go and these events? 100%. I mean, there is a misunderstanding about networking. So the, the number one misunderstanding still to this day is networking has to be in person or, or let me rephrase, it begins in person. So you just go out and you meet someone for the first time, you shake their mm -hmm. hand. I, I got into this industry in 2010. It, it never started for me like that, you know, as a recruiter, as a job seeker, everything started online. So the, yeah. the first impressions, first conversations, the first dialogue is online. Right now it's a mandate, you know, you can't go, like, that, that's fine. But, yeah. you know, I want to kind of like redefine networking where it starts. Again, for me, since 2010, it, it was online, it was LinkedIn, it was yeah. other social media platforms, it was other you know online associations, it was forums. That's when I got to learn people. That's where recruiting took place. So when I say I learned it, I was I left engineering technology industry. I got into recruiting and I was I began I received training on how to network to find job candidates and to hire them, to recruit them. It was online. You know, when as a recruiter, we never went outside to events to recruit people, even at job fairs. You know, job fairs were where we talked about our company's brand. You know, it's a more of an employer branding event. Yes. It's uh, rather than a recruiting event. Uh, so it was online. So that's first thing first is like understand that networking starts online. Fundamentally, it's what we need for our survival. You know, we need to start connecting. We need to have conversations, you know, networking and conversations that one on one human to human connections. It gives both individuals, especially the employer the confidence and the clarity that they need to decide if you're the right fit for them. Mm -hmm. Are you a good use of your time? Use, good use of my time if I was a recruiter to spend 30 minutes with you. Yes. You know, do you even want to work here? You know, like, who are you? Who are you? What are you about? What do you like? So again, are you, is your purpose, your mission aligned with our company's yes. mission and purpose? So that's very important. And um, to, to answer your question a bit more like tactically, I would say LinkedIn, LinkedIn is the number one world's yeah. biggest networking professional networking platform biggest applicant tracking system a lot of recruiting sourcing hiring is being done on linkedin so engage people into conversations yeah. you know build your social presence make sure you directly engage with people or recruiters influencers or decision makers hiring managers and companies themselves you know on their companies uh, business pages with their content so like comment reshare and post their mm -hmm. content post content related to who they are and what they do. So you grab their attention mm -hmm. and then begin to directly reach out to them with purpose-driven, mission-driven messages. Mm -hmm. You know, again, don't self-promote, ask good questions. Yeah. And follow up, follow up, yeah, the follow up, follow up, follow up. We do minimum five follow-ups. So yeah. do minimum five follow-ups uh, to, to demonstrate your interest. Mm -hmm. You have got to persist to create yeah. a pattern of interest. If there is no pattern, no one will trust yeah. what's going to happen tomorrow. No one's going to trust that you actually like them. You know, patterns lead to trust. If something keeps happening, if it rains today and reaches tomorrow and it rains the day after that, if you ask me, is it going to rain on Thursday? I'm like, yeah, it's rained for the last three. Yeah. It's probably going to rain again, you know? Yeah. So it's the same thing. If you message me, the recruiter or hiring manager, once, even twice, and then you're waiting for me to get back to you, it's just, yeah, you lost your interest. That, that's what it is. That's the perception is, you know, as a recruiter, as a hiring manager, you must have lost your interest. That's why you just stopped communicating with me yeah. after two messages, you know. And remember, recruiters and hiring managers are not obligated to get back to anyone because they receive hundreds and hundreds of messages every day. Yeah. Though they will get back to the ones that persist. That the 10% sure. and sometimes, unfortunately, less than 10% of people, it's enough, you know, if I get 100 messages today and 10 of them persist, if mm -hmm. message me tomorrow, the message me on Wednesday, the message me on Thursday, 
fantastic. On Friday, I'm going to message back those 10 people who actually persisted and didn't give up. The other 90 people, I physically don't have the time to respond to them. But at the same time, they did not demonstrate a consistent pattern of reaching out to show yeah. me, That's you know, to, to, give, to give me the confidence that you actually are interested, yeah. you're willing to do whatever it takes. You clearly didn't. You stopped following up. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the impression yeah. on the recruiter side. I do work with hiring with, uh, with candidates and job seekers as well. And the number one impression, and I don't blame them, is that, oh, I didn't want to bug them. Yeah. I want to, I'm just going to wait to see what they say. Well, just that's, that, that's an illusion. You know, it doesn't happen. So, yeah. you know, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, do five follow ups. If they don't get back to you, yeah. forget about them. But there's no reason for you to stop communicating with them regularly, like every other day. Yeah. If you haven't followed up at least five times. I always tell my clients that after the interview, if you are still interested in the company, uh, follow their, of course, you have to follow their social platforms and engage with their, uh, with their content, like, share, make comments. And that's how the recruiter or the hiring manager will notice that you are still engaging with them and they will remember you more and then they will reach out to you. Yeah, 100%. And then in terms of networking, that's how we, we never met. We were online and we start building a relationship and we, now we are talking with each other and sharing uh, ideas and information. 100%. Again, thank you for those great tips, Ned. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of networking, please leave comments below and tune, tune in next time for my final question with Ned.